Hello, you developers. Welcome back to the Doing Ideas channel. Today's lesson, we are going to cover the views uh, in the Yeto user module. Last lesson, we overrid the registration form, and today we are going to override, not override actually. We are going to ask the Yeto user module to use our view files rather than their view files. So we need to write, change the configuration file and tell them that. So we do that by using the components array. In the components array, we say view theme path map and ask the dictarium user module to use not this user views but the app views user. So in uh, so we have to create a user directory in our views folder. So we have the views folder and I have a user folder. In there, I have a registration form, a registration folder where I have had I have added a register.php. This is the exact thing that is in the Dictarium user views. It has a registration directory and inside that it has a register.php. So what I have done, I have copied the register.php file that is in the Dictarium folder. Here we have, this was the original view file that there was and I have copied that and pasted it into my view file. So user registration register.php is this file. So let's check this. Let's put edge 3 our register.php. Let's refresh. We have to go to the index.php user registration register. It says our register.php. So we are loading this file. So we did that by configuring the web.php web.php file to have us and ask the e to use a module to use our views. Okay, so we don't want this anymore. Now the next thing we are going to do is actually this wasn't there before. I was testing it out. So let's refresh. Now we take in the username, email, and the password when registration when doing a registration. What I want to do is I want to take the name of the user as well when registering and add it to this name property for a profile table. So first thing we need to do is we need to add an attribute for this registration form model. So in the view file I'm going to say I'm going to copy this and paste and change this to name. So this registration form object does this model does not have a property called name. Uh, it's going to say that we don't have a property called name. It says unknown property. So to over, uh, so we have to add that property to our registration form. So we say public name. Okay. So now it has a name. Uh, this registration form object does have a name. So we need to have an attribute label. So public, we are we are going to override the original attribute label function that is in the registration form.php so attribute labels we are going to override this so public function attribute labels and we are going to call upon the we are going to create a variable, uh, variable called labels and we are going to call upon the parent attribute labels function so parent attribute labels Okay, so now that is done. Now we need to add a new label for our name. So name is going to be he, the translation, it's going to be on the user and we want the full name. So that's going to give us a full name. Oh, of course we had written this, turn the labels and we have the full name. So that is done. Next, we need to write a rule. So I'm going to say rules. I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make the name a required field. So name is required. Okay, that is done as well. So if we refresh and click on this and move away, file name full name cannot be blank. So the rule is working now. Now we have to assign this full name. To our profile object so when registering it's going to create a user object and assign the attributes to the user object and then save it 
Next, it's going to assign the attributes to the profile and then save it. So we need to do that. So we do that using the public function load attributes. Okay. So this expects a user class. So user, user. So I have included the user model in the Dictarium user models user and I've also used the Dictarium user models profile. Both have been used. So now first thing is I'm going to say user set attributes and I'm going to pass in, I'm going to say the username or oh, we don't have to do that actually. We can do this we can multiply assign we can say set attributes function and pass in the attributes so this attributes is going to set attributes so the set attributes function is going to get the array and assign the username to the username and password to the password and email to the email next that is for the user object next we need to have a profile object so because we want to assign uh, we have to save the name in the profile table. So, profile, we first create object, we create object and pass in the profile class name. Okay, next we assign profile, oh, profile set attributes set attributes and we are going to pass an array and we are going to assign name is going to be equal to this dot name not dot this name and finally we want to ask the user to set the profile to profile okay so that does it i think so we'll refresh and we'll test so uh, we are going to say the full name is full name of user this is three password one two three one two three and sign up so let's check it out uh, in the profile we have the full name of user has been assigned to the name property of course in the user table everything has gone to where it is intended to a record has been inserted with everything okay so that covers so in this lesson we did override the views actually it's not overriding views like we override models we just ask the user model to use our view file rather than theirs next we added an attribute to our registration form and assigned that to our profile object and saved it so those are the things that we did in this lesson so I hope you enjoyed this one. Do stay tuned for more. Do subscribe. Do like. Do share. And let me know what you think about these tutorials and what I need to change to make things better for you guys. 